Hey MCC fans, welcome along for another video. That familiar sound of tires being aired down. Because when we go that way, we're going up the mountain. So anyway, this is kind of a special route because back in the day when I was racing bicycles a lot, uh, me and one of my buddies had done this three times on mountain bikes and we called it the death ride for good reason. 20,000 feet of climbing. 170 miles on a mountain bike. It's 100 miles to Troy the first day and then 70 miles back around to Dayton where we start the next day. So it's going to be interesting to do it in the Jeep instead of a bicycle this time. Probably a little easier too. <laughs> All right, here we go up the mountain. So uh, what we're doing, this is a 170 mile loop. The majority of it, we're skirting the Tucannon Wilderness area. Uh, be a pretty good adventure so uh, we're gonna get up this mountain uh, we're seeing rain clouds right now that was not in the forecast uh, rains fine thunderstorms are not fine because we want to camp up on uh, Table Rock Mountain which is one of the highest peaks here in the Blue Mountains so anyway we get up the road uh, we'll see what's going on and we'll catch up down the road peace <laughs> Okay. You know, this is like two hours from our house, which is great. We've been going to the Cascades all the time and just really haven't spending time over the Blue Mountains and we got to get over here more uh, for you guys and show some uh, videos of the Blue Mountains.
Well, here we are on uh, Table Rock Mountain. I apologize for the wind. Nothing I can do about that, but this is just spectacular. Tell me this is not epic. And that's what you call a drop off. Down the mountain. Beautiful. Wow, Table Rock Mountain. This is just the bomb. All the fires are making for spectacular sunset. So uh, we're gonna go over here in a minute and the guy invited us up into the tower. So I'm gonna walk over here and uh, nice guy, he invited us up into the tower. So we're gonna go up in here and uh, see what we can see. This is pretty cool. Wow. Yeah, we left Tri-Cities at 5 o'clock to get up here. That's we had about, to work. That, that's about the right drive time. It's about two and a half hours up here. Mind if I put this on my YouTube channel? Yeah, I'll just stay out of it. Yeah, just stay out of it, yeah. <laughs> wow, it's cool. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, we were lucky when we were on the Magruder Corridor on Green Mountain. They had an active fire over there and the guys in us up. And that's a really tall tower. Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, that was spectacular. Great place for you to camp out in here. Oh, yeah. So you're here for the season? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I'll be here through at least the middle of September, if not later. Yeah. Good drop off out the window. 2,500 feet to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> no sleepwalking. Nope. No sleepwalking. <laughs> interesting yeah so, so it's called a firefinder it's the osborne firefinder uh -huh. and um, this is this one i understand was built in the in the 30s um but basically it works it's a compass it's basically a compass and uh, a rifle scope so there's compass settings around the outside when you see a smoke column you look through the slot here and line it up on the string there it'll give you the compass bearing we're here in the center um you know, so and this obviously this obviously spins around, so you can you know get the compass bearings, um, and then of course you learn the the la uh, uh, landmarks up here, so uh -huh. I can find the landmark uh, on the map, and I can give dispatch the range, the township, and the section number, uh, which tells them where it is, and then I tell them what the smoke is doing and where on the hillside the fire is, and all that kind of stuff, and then oh, they dispatch crazy. accordingly. Wow! So before satellites. Uh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> way before yeah yeah because i guess in canada there's people i follow they've abandoned most of their towers because they're doing all satellite imaging so there, most of them. there's that there's um uh on 395 on the way to john day uh, there's a, a lookout called ritter mountain i think it mm -hmm. is and uh what they have they have a uh, camera mounted on the peak of it and it spins 360 degrees and it's got sensors that can actually tell the difference between smoke, fog, water dogs, things like that. Can tell you the distance from the lookout that it is. And that's what they use to man man that particular one. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Well, hey, thanks for the education. I appreciate it. Sure, sure. I'll bail out on this video. Go find my wife. Yeah, she's just over there. Let's see. Put the dog on a leash yeah. for good reason. Yeah. Well, even though it's super rocky everywhere, I mean, there's just rocks everywhere. We have some little portable cots that will get us off the ground. I mean, they're super cool from Thermal So we decided to set up camp right here on Table Rock uh, next to the fire station. Uh, probably not going to be able to see what's going on over here. It's dark. I'm going to pan over here anyway toward the sky. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there we go. Zoom in. Not the best picture. A little grainy, but there's the uh, fire lookout. Oh, wow. Just spectacular clouds. Yeah, so we're right down here. So... We set up the, it's windy. It backed off a little bit. So uh, let me zoom out here. We got the tent set up right next to the Jeep for a wind block. And then uh, the tent is tied to the Jeep bumper so the wind doesn't blow it around. I do have earplugs. So that's pretty cool, huh? Right on. God, it's beautiful here. This is gonna be a beautiful night. I think we're at about 6,200 feet. Something like that. I think 6,200 feet. One of the highest points in the Blue Mountains. 
So we got, we're gonna get some dinner rolling. I'm cooking, that's kind of our deal. Me and Hong set up the tent and then she does the bedding and I do the dinner. So what we got, oh, better turn this down. So pretty simple tonight. We're cooking some rice and then I'm gonna cut up some uh, uh, apple sausage with uh, sweet peppers, onions, cilantro, some green onions out of the garden. I'm gonna fry that in a pan with a little fried rice and we're just gonna have uh, a little bit of a fried rice meal. Well, maybe kind of fried, but uh, pretty simple. We're hungry, it's late. Hey Hong, you hungry? Yes, I'm hungry. Yes, you're hungry, me too. All right, well, I'm gonna get this party rolling. I'm sure I'll be taking some pictures in a minute. Um, none of my famous margaritas, I laying off the margaritas, it's a glass of wine. This old boy's gotta lay off the sugar, so cleaning my act up, gotta lose a few LBs. Some of those other videos that you see me in, yeah, I'm looking a little pregnant, so I got to change that. <laughs> so uh, we're just rolling LJ tonight. Uh, pretty simple. One box, a little bit of food, a little bit of dishes, because it's uh, this is a quick trip. So anyway, going to get some dinner rolling, and I'll show you what's going on in a minute. Well, MCC, here we are about 10 o'clock at night on top of Table Rock Mountain. We're at uh, 6,243 feet. Um, not too far from the fire lookout over here, this man, where we, we met a great guy, gave us a little history lesson on it. So anyway, late night meal, we're cooking up some apple sausage with uh, onions, sweet peppers. Uh, I've got some cilantro and green onions, a little soy sauce. I'm gonna put some rice in here and fry it. And uh, this has a little bit of hot pepper in it, some coriander, garlic, salt, pepper, a few things. So anyway, just kind of a little rice bowl. Man, nothing like, uh, Cooking a little food up in the mountains at 6,200 feet, 10 o'clock at night, huh, baby? Yeah. What do you think? You hungry? Yeah, I'm more hungry. Hey, let me see that camera. How hungry are you? Yeah, I'm huh? hungry. What? Yeah. You hungry? Yeah, we're hungry. Sunny, are you hungry? Sunny. Oh, yeah, yeah. We got the fire pit under fire restriction, so we got the fire pit out. So, anyway, just out of the back of the Jeep. So, anyway, we're going to enjoy this dinner. Two, three, four. It's time for coffee. <laughs> All right, dug my butt out of bed. <sighs> Peace. Well, not too shabby. This was last night's home. Yeah, the only hard part about these short trips is it's 5.30 in the morning and yeah, it was up to one o'clock. So anyway, let me give you a little view of where I get to have coffee this morning. It's an active fire lookout tower right there. How about this, huh? Not too shabby. High cities is over there somewhere through the smoke. Unfortunately, there's a lot of haze from, I guess it's probably from the fire down on the Columbia River. Normally you can see the volcanoes and everything from up here. Okay, don't get dizzy yet, all right? Wow. So, uh, 
This is it. Table Rock. This is uh, 6,243 feet. Beautiful night. The wind kind of disappeared after a while. We set up the tent right next to the Jeep for a wind block and guy lined it to the Jeep, but then fortunately the wind died down. So anyway, I'm going to wander over there because uh, somewhere over there. Yeah, there. There's a cup of coffee I got to make. Peace out. Hope you enjoy that video.
Well, good morning. Well, I'm sure you saw the amazing pictures from last night. This is home for a little while, but we got some tracks to lay today. The, the hard part about these short trips is getting up at 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> so anyway, this is just cool, spectacular, beautiful night. So anyway, we're going to uh, get a cup of joe, get some coffee rolling as usual, and uh, we're gonna pack this baby up. We're gonna roll down the trail. So uh, it's quick and easy today. Starbucks instant coffee, no great stuff. <laughs> so anyway, we'll get this packed up and uh, get ready to head down the trail and we'll see you in a little bit.
flowers we've seen on this trip. Probably one of the most beautiful trips we've seen as far as wildflowers. Yeah, I wish we would have took more pictures back to some of those other ones. Absolutely amazing. I mean, just, just this whole route has been loaded with wildflowers. for lunch um like you saw in the last video we were leaving uh, table rock mountain and uh you also noticed we ate dinner last night at what um, 10 o'clock mm -hmm. i don't know late a lot of food so anyway we weren't hungry this morning so we haven't eaten so it's about 11 o'clock early lunch and i brought some ground sirloin and uh got some onions and cheese just gonna make some burgers um so uh I'm definitely ready for a cheeseburger right now. Man, I've been driving my Jeep thinking I want a cheeseburger for the last hour. <laughs> so we're going to get this cooking up and keep rolling around. We're about 50 miles in so far, the 170-mile loop. And uh, um, so far, it's beautiful. Great wildflowers. It's been pretty nice. So anyway, I'm, I'm going to get this cooking up. Ah, it's good. Trail burgers right out of the back of the Jeep. Yeah, pretty simple. Little Johnny's, garlic, pepper. We got some sharp cheddar, onions, a little mustard. Um, hey, let me show them this real quick. You guys always see me cook. This is uh, this is made by Kelpie. It's, I haven't found another one yet. It's, some things fall out of it, but we got everything we need. All our spices, gloves, knives, forks, hot pads. I mean, it's basically just my portable little... Uh, I don't know, spice kitchen. Utensils, knives, just close it up, open it, and we start cooking. It's kind of cool. Jeep gypsies, baby. <laughs> Jeep gypsies. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Overland chef right here. <laughs> Big chef, hamburger. It's okay. Everything tastes better in the woods. Peace. Oh man. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that's a good trail burger. Oh man. Cilantro, onions, a little mustard. That's the bomb. better than this does down there. I'm not mistaken. We're about 20 miles from Troy.
So there's Troy on the Grand Ronde River. So we're dropping uh, into the bottom of this and then up the other side that winds around and over what's called uh, Mount Misery and toward Pomeroy, Washington, and then we'll be out of Oregon. Pretty incredible country. It's amazing. Um, I'll spin this around a little bit. It's amazing, Washington State, how it changes from wooded mountains to arid desert. There are just so many different, uh, I guess like you'd call ecosystems, you know, an environmental environment changes here in Washington and in, in Oregon pretty diverse that's for sure anything you want it's here for the most part but I guess that's why people love the Pacific Northwest yeah pretty cool place well we made it to Troy we're here at the Shiloh Inn and uh, they have showers here so if I can't jump in the river I'm gonna go check it out I'm gonna go in here and grab a shower see if it wakes me up been a long day already yeah, nothing like three hours of sleep. The Wanaha Bar and Grill. God, I wish I could just get a room and stay here, but I have to work tomorrow. These uh, short trips are a little hard on me, but I'm not going to quit doing them. So long as over here walking around, and uh, I'm going to cruise down over here and look at the river access and see what it looks like. Told you I was going to find a river. Sorry, I'm fat. <laughs> ho, 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 ho. Okay, here we go. One, two, two three. three. Jump! <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that's cold. cold. Yeah, that's Water cold is too. cold, huh? Yeah, that's cold. Not bad, though, I'll tell you what. Uh -huh. Not as cold as Mount Lake. <laughs> That's for sure. Oh man, I feel better already. Is there no peeing in a pool? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I have to say, that's some of the best feeling water I've felt in a long time. It was a little cold at first, but man, it was nice once you got used to it. We got in, Hong got in. So uh, I have to say, one of the best things I've bought and put on this Jeep is this shower enclosure. And you can also put a little potty in it if you want to, but we're right here at the Shiloh Inn. We're in town. You know, they're down here rocking and rolling. They got the music playing. and open a shower enclosure and change a bathing suit. It's a lot easier than just trying to hide behind a door. Anyway, we're going to, uh, unfortunately we can't stay. Man, I wish I could stay here and just chill for a little while, but we got a lot of miles to cover still. So down the road we go, get this stuff put up. Peace. Well, one last ticket before it's gone One last summer before it's fall Tune your strings and play your cards Little words hit me
me like a game of darts And you're beating, beating on my drum And you're beating, beating on my door Running faster, faster than my dreams And I can't What do you got? Huckleberries. Huckleberries. Right along the road. Oh, really? Yeah. We will grab some. Thank you. I'm going to take off anyway. So. Okay, cool. You want some berries? <laughs> All huckleberries on the side of the road. He says if you want some. The berry? Berries. Got a whole bag of them. Really? Yeah. Outside? Yeah. Man, I wish we had more time, but just a little bit of time. I got myself a bag of huckleberries. Oh, you want to know what? We just washed these. Probably, I, we ate some of that wash. Let's see. Oh, let's see. Look at this. Oh, man. Let's drive and eat huckleberries. I don't know if she 
We can grow. <laughs> Those are the best berries I've ever had. All right, peace out. You, you always find me here. That I've disappeared You know just where to look You know just where to look And you Incredible So anyway We appreciate you tagging along with us um, We're going to uh, uh, Get dinner now Because it's 5 o'clock It's going to be too late when we get home This is actually leftovers from last night uh, From the video The rice and sausage and as always, if you like what we do, hey, show us a little love, drop a comment, drop a like, and by all means, subscribe. Cost you nothing. Helps us build this channel. We'll see you down the road. Peace.